Time now to have a look at some of the highlights of the opening round of the Emirates Australian Open from the Lakes Golf Club in Sydney. John Sandon is coming off a very consistent year in the United States, and here he is at 17 playing his third shot. Yes, you'd have to think it was just a matter of time before John Sandon had a big win. He has played beautifully all year in another excellent pitch shot here at the short par five. Sets up a birdie that takes him to five under. Justin Rose also came out here, Ian, uh, with a great season in his bag. Here he is at 17, also yes. playing his third. And the highest ranked player in the field. Yep. Fantastic effort at the Ryder Cup just a couple of months ago and uh, continues his good form today with shots like this at 17. And a putt in Dubai that will not be forgotten for many a year. So he gets his birdie there and that moves him to four under. Two T start on this opening day, and so now we're seeing John Sennon at the first with a birdie putt that would take him to six under par. And as you can tell there by uh, the shimmering water around the first green and very little wind earlier this morning, so most of the low scoring as Sennon makes another great putt done in the early round. Justin Rose now at 18. Another birdie opportunity, and it Ooh. takes him to five under. Nicely done. Sender now at the seventh hole, the beautiful uphill par three. Really has putted so well today in this opening round. Sometimes Sunday afternoons it doesn't look as smooth as that, but he's learning and getting better and better as time goes on. And here he is now at the eighth. An opportunity to get it back to six under, but first we'll see his second shot, which sets up an eagle opportunity. Once again, reachable par five here. Beautiful three wood. Flies it all the way to the green. And inside three metres for the eagle. Just missing to the left, so he's going to have to be content with a birdie. But it gets him back to six under. And that's where he finished the day after a round of 66. Kim Felton is another one to watch this weekend. Yeah, when he's on form, he's as good as anybody here. He's been working with uh, one of the better Australian players of the last couple of decades, Bradley Hughes. And it's starting to show he won a tournament up on the Gold Coast just last week. Maybe he can continue that this week. Gareth Patterson also had a pretty good day. Here he is at eight, the birdie opportunity to go to four under. So he's setting himself up for hopefully a good weekend. Now at the sixth hole, the sweet swinging left-hander Richard Green has this birdie putt to move to four under par. Seventeen, we find Nick Flanagan with a long birdie opportunity to try and go to four under. Haven't seen much of the US amateur champion over the last couple of seasons and came in here with a shoulder injury but playing well today. Peter Senior now. His birdie putt at seven. Watch, he doesn't move. He just stands, watches and delivers. And what a way to finish as we go to the 15th Ian and Marcus Fraser. Take us through this. Well, Marcus Fraser's really on a bit of a roll. He's been playing well the last few holes, but here at the par three, we'd mentioned in commentary that if you could fire it straight at the hole here, it was a generous hole location for the good shot that rolled down across the slope, and that's exactly what Marcus Fraser did. And it finds, eventually, the bottom of the cup for a hole in one, an ace at the 15th. And he had an extraordinary run, picking up birdies on 11, 12, 13, 14 and then of course the ace on 15. What a run to get him to three under but the man they've got to catch sits at the top of the leaderboard and that is John Sendon after a round of 66 today. Par here at the lakes is 72. There you can see Sendon on 66. Felton at four under with 68 along with the group including Justin Rose, Gareth Patterson and Richard Green and Stephen Allen like to see him finding some four shooting at a 369.